here in the studio. Welcome, girl. Hi. <laughs> so how does it feel to be touring? It's great. It's about time. We're really excited. It's really fun. We're having a great time. The shows, I think we're better this, this time around than we've ever been before. Everyone seems to be playing great. Well, we've only been out, what, it's been about a week and a half now. Mm -hmm. So we haven't been out that long, but we're... The shows are going really good, and the audiences have been wonderful. You can tell it's only been a week and a half because you guys don't look really tired. <laughs> yeah, come and see us in about six months when we were walking in the studio. <laughs> the album is doing really well. Head Over Heels did well, and now Turn She was rising up the charts. Do you think that has to do with the different sound working with Martin Rushant? Um, I think, um, I think, well, just not having a record out for a couple of years, you know, a lot of people were curious about our new album, but uh, um, I think us being on tour is going to help the record a lot. Yeah, and I think, uh, you know, uh, as far as Martin goes, I mean, he was really great to work with and everything, and the album does sound different, a lot different, I think, than the other two, and, uh, and hopefully it appeals to a larger mm -hmm. range of people, you know, so... Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't know, you know, one thing we noticed um, in, in the audience was that a lot of the... Um, kids there it seemed grown older. Up. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I can remember last time we did a tour and it was like, I don't know, I guess most of them seemed like we were like between maybe 12 and 20 and now everybody's saying it's like they're, seem like they're from 16 to 30 or something. I guess they've aged rapidly. And <laughs> Before I say goodbye quickly, Kathy, I want to ask you, you have a guitar credit oh, yeah. on the album. How come? Well, I played lead guitar on the, several of the songs and it was well, you know, everyone knows about Charlotte had a, a carpal tunnel syndrome. <laughs> and uh, the thing was, when it came down to doing the guitar parts, we just, you know, needed extra help. So I did them, and then I taught them all to her afterwards. Because I used to play guitar. I don't know if everyone knows that, but I used to play guitar before I was in the Go-Go's. You mean when you were in girl school? Yeah. And <laughs> other bands. We're going to take a quick break. You guys can stay for a little bit, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's been a trivia question. Very on awesome. Brian Stevenson, that one is Modern Day Delilah. Watching videos with me, Kathy Valentine, and Gina Shock, of course, of the Go-Go's. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about Rob Lowe. Um, it was fun to work with him in the video. Yeah, yeah. Rob's great. Like, He's a really nice guy. Yeah, real nice. Just a friend of the band. Yeah. Well, what was it like making it, that video, playing guys? Well, it took, it was like we had to keep changing back and forth, and that was the hard part, because it's like your your clothes get kind of little, like each time you put them on, they're like a little bit more frumpier and stuff, and so it was pretty weird. It was fun. It took 17 hours to do. We did it all in one day, so we had to get up at like 5.30 and be there. What was the name of that mansion? It was at Greystone Mansion, Greystone, which is an in incredible place, Dovini. just incredible. Yeah. It's where they used to have the American Film Institute, and uh... It's just huge. I mean, there was rooms all over the place. And, like, different people got murdered in certain rooms. It was oh, yeah, Mr. Doheny. Yeah. <laughs> we couldn't wait for it to get dark. <laughs> there was all kinds of scandals behind <laughs> it. The hairstyles were wild. It must have taken me a long time to get those. They were wigs. Wigs. Oh, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. The truth is uncovered here. Yeah. <laughs> Gina, a lot of people, you know, have been real concerned about you. You had your oh. illness. <laughs> Not really. Not <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you think that having that surgery has changed your outlook? Well, yeah, sure. Something like major like that happens to you, I mean, and it was such a surprise that it's made me think about things a lot more than I have in the past. And number one being my health, which you realize until you don't have it is the most important thing. Um, also, the girls have gotten very health conscious since that and we're like, a lot nicer to her now <laughs> <laughs> and now we like work out we have uh, this guy jerry gendron he's our tour accountant and he uh he's an ex miami dolphin and he works us out and with weights and stuff so we're very health conscious <laughs> so can we, can we see the scar come on uh, I'll, the I'll, show the I'll show the oh, all right you want to see it? Yeah, why not? How much money you got in your pocket? <laughs> uh, we're going to take up a collection around Okay, here. wait. I don't know. Ew. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. <laughs> well, okay. We're going to get back to the video. <laughs> <laughs> right now. Uh, nice. No, that's good. Let's it's okay. It's eight inches long. It's very attractive. 
Okay, join us on the medical <laughs> channel here today. <laughs> MTV, medical television. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, you have more video after this. <laughs>